Hollywood hauntings haunt haunts universal stage 28 Universal Studios in Hollywood, California was built in 1915. It once held one of the oldest permanent sound stages ever built. I say once because this building, which just so happened to be haunted, was sadly demolished in 2014. In fact, this stage was known as the Phantom Stage, but not simply due to the reported ghostly activity. This stage was built in 1924 for the 1925 film The Phantom of the Opera, starring Lon Chaney, one of the greatest actors of silent film. He was also incredible in his only sound film, 1930's The Unholy Three, which was sadly his last film before dying of cancer. The Phantom Stage was unique in that no other sound stage in Hollywood history has been named after a single film. This stage was the oldest and second tallest of all of the stages on the Universal lot. It was the first stage to be built of steel and concrete, an achievement in its own right. There was an elaborate opera house set consisting of a stage, auditorium seating, and opera boxes built on the set for the film, which remained until 2014, shortly before demolition, when they were supposedly put into storage. These are believed to be the oldest surviving movie sets in the world. Actress Carla Lemley, who played the prima ballerina in the film, and later spoke the opening lines in the Universal film Dracula, was photographed shortly before her death in 2014, at the age of 104, in front of the set before it was dismantled. She was the last surviving cast member of the film, Phantom of the Opera. Now, as for the haunting of Stage 28, it's said that the shadowy form of Lon Chaney himself was supposedly seen running along the catwalks of the stage, a black cape billowing behind him, recreating his famous role or perhaps a residual haunting, a moment in time playing out in place memory. However, various actors over the years have also reported seeing Cheney in his phantom makeup staring at them before disappearing into the shadows. It is said that during construction of the stage, an electrician fell to his death from the catwalks and it's his footsteps and not Cheney's that were heard. Well, whoever it may be, we'll never know now. For a company claiming to pride itself on its history, they tore down what could have been a tourist attraction in its own right and a piece of not just Hollywood history, but film history itself to build a roller coaster. The stage was used in many films since 1925 and was still in use shortly before it was torn down. The last feature film being The Muppets in 2011. There was even a petition with over 4,000 signatures. This is why I refuse to go to Universal Studios Hollywood and have not done so since before the demolition.
I don't care how they justify it. They knock down history. I'm a great lover of Hollywood history. Eshley. Silent film history. I met my fiance through a mutual love of silent film. Whether or not it was Lon Chaney haunting stage 28, we'll never know. And Universal can kiss my, oh, well, you know. If you'd like to check out some of the surviving work of the greatest actor of the silent or any era, I'm happy to recommend The Phantom of the Opera, The Unholy Three, both versions. The Unknown, He Who Gets Slapped, Laugh Clown Laugh, The Blackbird, and The Penalty. Now check this out.